Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl, Vinyl, Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Copenhagen, Denmark's Undergang, Inherent Off Durden, their debut full length on MSUO. This is the first pressing because Jesus is the man and found a few. So fucking good. This is some of my favorite of their illustrations as well when it comes to album art and stuff. Just totally fucking vile and rotted and evil as well. I fucking love this shit. I like the black and white cover as well. I'm sure if you've seen the um, one with like the blue and shit, that's sick as well. But in black and white, just totally really captures the vibe of the music through the illustration because you're getting as you can hear some filthy fucking death metal and that's what i want to go over today you know i love this type of stuff and these guys are from the same scene and you know share bands and stuff but these guys are way way more well known for their work in the danish black metal community and i'm talking about Fucking Dequisitor. And this is their self titled on Head Split Records. You can pick up the vinyl through Night Shroud Records. And uh, I do know that um, MSUO probably has copies. And I definitely know Extremely Rotten has copies. And hell, they might even have the Downfall of the Apostates uh, new album. I reviewed the promo last week, but. Uh, yeah, their new material is amazing, but this is their debut full length. And uh, they have two EPs as well, but one came after this. Uh, Hexagonal Vortex, I think it's called, or maybe it's just Hexagon Vortex. I, I forget. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't take notes for this shit. This is all off the top of my head. But, like I was saying though, on the Dequisitor self-titled here, it's fucking, first off, just wow. I know I say that all the time, but seriously, fucking wow. This right here is fucking rotten death metal with one of the most sinister sounding guitar tones that I've heard in a very, very long time when it comes to a death metal release. You can definitely hear that these guys are definitely either involved with listening to a lot of black metal or were in black metal bands, which is the case. These guys were in some of Denmark's bigger, you know, underground black metal acts. And Dequisitor, in my opinion, just destroys and absolutely lays waste to all the other projects that these guys are involved in. To me, Dequisitor is the fucking shit. Seriously. Especially, like, within the Kill Town Denmark scene. I know there's a lot of fucking amazing bands. Undergang, obviously. Like, fucking Hyperdonita. That also has members from, like, Istanbul. Worm Ridden has Takashi from Tokyo, Japan. So a lot of those projects have members from other countries and stuff. I'm not sure about Frenerlith. I think they might have somebody from like Singapore maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Do not quote me on any of that stuff. Like even Undergang uses some uh, Americans now. I think, uh, fuck, I forget who played on the last album. But he tours with them in the States and stuff. And let's say they need a drummer. They just call Chad up from Necrot. If he's available, boom, they have a fill-in drummer. But let's talk about the Quisitor, who I don't think have made it over to America yet. But they will be playing Kill Town Death Fest if you are making it over to that amazing, amazing festival. But I cannot afford it. But this is on a silver pro tape through Head Split Records. Like I said, the vinyl's on Night Shroud which is probably amazing because the cassette sounds fucking amazing 
Like, I know I use the pun a lot because it... Well, not even the pun. It's actually the fucking truth, but... Uh, Dave from Undergang is label Extremely Rotten. I do like calling a lot of these projects Extremely Rotten because that's what they fucking sound like from a Sonic perspective. Like, Dequisitor is not polished whatsoever. Like, if you're a fan of the new Morbid Angel album, sound-wise, like, with the production, this is not for you. This is for underground death metal fiends only, pretty much. Like, this is some gnarly, gnarly fucking death metal. And I love it because of this just total soaked in, like, evil and occult like just vibes that this album has when it comes to its riff delivery and everything else about it lyrically everything this is not your stereotypical death metal record this is something special and something that definitely requires your attention and i'm so fucking glad that i got to dive into the self-titled and the promo tape for the new material, Downfall of the Apostates, before picking up a copy of Downfall of the Apostates, because this really helped open my mind onto what format I actually want to get the new Dequisitor in, because I feel like this sounds so fucking sick on cassette. It really, really does, I'm not just saying that. These 12 tracks are just, like I was saying, they just sound extremely fucking rotten and also extremely fucking sinister. They just have this evil vibe to them when it comes to the riffing, the drums, the bass, everything. It's just really soaked in fucking evil and it's great because it's also just drenched in fucking maggot fluid like it's just so rotten on the vocal delivery i'm so impressed by it i i can't even you know kiss its ass enough this is some of the best death metal in denmark and i think it's sick as fuck because this comes out of the black metal scene pretty much like these guys seriously when I was looking through some of their, uh, you know, other projects, I was like, holy shit, these dudes are in some awesome bands. Of course, I don't remember any off the top of my head, but this is so fucking good. And as usual, you get initials and whatnot of who did what. So you have TFJ on guitars and vocals, HBC on drums and effects, and DA on bass and vocals. And on this recording, you have TFJ on guitars and vocals and HBC on drums and effects. Ambient outros and cover art by MF Jorg. So, yeah. Absolutely amazing stuff. I love MF Jorg's artwork. He just fucking kills it with everything he does. Seriously, just go look at all of the Quisitor's artwork from like their 7 inches and even the new album which has some fucking really, really fucking amazing artwork. But musically, these 12 tracks are just so fucking sick sounding coming from the cassette format and I can only imagine just how fucking sick this sounds on vinyl. But it has this special charm to it that I have with a lot of the death metal cassettes that I purchased. Because I know how it's going to sound coming from these speakers and stuff. And it helps add this extra fucking ambience and brutality that I love when it comes to my death metal. And the Quisitor just fucking straight up nail those fucking nails into Christ's wrist and yeah it's right on the fucking money when it comes to just that perfect death metal production 
when it comes to analog death metal. Because, like, I'm sure on CD this sounds great, but it's gonna be lacking that, you know, fuzzy atmosphere that to me makes this not only heavier sounding, but just a lot more kind of evil and just unsettling at, at best. Like, Black Matter Vortex that starts things off with a fucking bang. It's just like, whoa. It's fucking sick. And then next thing you know, it's Altered Terrestrials. Amazing stuff. Celestial Rituals. Destroyer of Worlds. Forgotten Origins. Converging into Singularities. Through Ethereal Depths. Uh, deeps. Which is probably my favorite track on here. Some of the English is a little weird, like... Like, that should probably be Depths, but it's Deeps. <laughs> but that's one of the best songs in here. And then there's Elongated Crystal Skull, which thankfully has nothing to do with that terrible Indiana Jones film. But kind of does, I guess. But uh, then you have Dispensable Deities, Yule Horror, Tempstius Radius, and... Uh, Deskicism. Sorry, I know I totally butchered some of those song titles, but these 12 tracks are pure fucking fire. I love this stuff. This is pure fucking death metal. If you're a fan of Undergang, if you're a fan of the whole entire Denmark scene, there's stuff you're gonna love on here, and there's also stuff if you're a fan of bands like Infester, Fuck yeah, you're gonna find stuff to love on here as well, but mostly this kind of stands out on its own, like, it doesn't have so much, like, you know, doomy, like, death passages as much as it has, like, just these kind of blackened, filthy death metal passages that are kind of just, like, beyond crushing. And not in like a doomy way, like just in a death metal crushing way. But this is just one of those fucking albums that I feel like it might get overlooked a bit, but that's going to change with the new album. But in case you have never heard Dequisitor, definitely, definitely a great place to start is the self-titled. You get 12 tracks of just total, total fucking death metal filth and also some well well written awesome sinister sounding fucking tunes as well and 12 tracks of just you know utter death metal fucking goodness from Copenhagen or well not even Copenhagen I'm not even sure what part of Denmark but the Quisitor fucking rule when it comes to Kill Town Death Metal and their self-titled tape, just wow. And definitely check out their new album, Downfall of the Apostates. I'm pretty sure this promo is gone, but uh, you could definitely check out the tracks on uh, Bandcamp. So I highly suggest doing that. The Quisitor is the shit if you're a fan of... Denmark death metal and just heavy as fuck evil death metal in general. You're gonna love this stuff. And we've been blasting Undergang's debut album, Inherent of Duden. So fucking good on MSUO Records. Miseko Anunjo. Great, great fucking death metal. Heavy as fuck. Filthy as fuck. The way death metal's meant to be great stuff and yeah thanks for watching as always you guys fucking rule Hell.